Estelle. Estelle. She's been mumbling to herself for a while now. Hmm. Hey, you coming? We don't have all day here. Estelle. Estelle. Looks like she's in her own little world. Hey, Estelle. Oh, right. Sorry. I'm coming. Do they not have nicknames where she's from? Partner, repeat. Oh, nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Did you actually understand what repeat was saying? No. Yeah, I guess that was a stupid question. not to stand out. Okay, and I want to catch up with Flynn as soon as I can. Alright, let's see if we can just pass through the hold. Where's she off to now?
welcome. I've got some nice gear in stock today. This blade was forged by none other than Assam the Blade Master. It even comes equipped with weapon skills. No traveler should be without them. Feel free to give it a try. Huh? What do you mean? The special techniques contained in weapons. These techniques were originally passed down from master to pupil. But the Blade Master Assam used a special process to seal them within the weapons themselves. Bodhi Blastia can acquire techniques from weapons imbued with this power. With continued use, weapon arts can eventually be learned by the person using the weapon. My, this young lady knows her stuff. That about sums it up. I read in a book that the Kritia gave this knowledge to humans long ago. Huh. I thought Bodhi Blastia only let you use strike and magic arts. In order to find the fighting style that meets your needs, it's best to think carefully about weapon skills when choosing your weapon. There are even weapons without weapon skills that focus instead on raw attack power. It all depends on your preference. If weapons you equip have weapon skills sealed inside them, those weapon skills will be stored inside your Bodhi Blastia when you equip the weapons. If you have a weapon equipped, you can use the weapon skills sealed inside whenever you want. However, if you unequip that weapon, you'll have to set the weapon skills to be able to use them. Each weapon skill belongs to one of four different categories. When you set a few different skills in a weapon, depending on what category they are, a particular glyph will appear on the core of your Bodhi Blastia. So, if you had a bunch of weapon skills for attacking, you'd see a glyph called Fleck. That glyph lets you know the strength of your physical attack. Try all of the combinations you can think of to see what they do. I'm afraid the sun would set long before I could explain them all to you. Did you get all that? You learn fast. You should be able to read all about it in that young lady's book. I can't imagine business is all that great in a place like this. Don't get me wrong. I'm not here because I want to be. There are monsters on the far side of the hold, so I'm stuck. Monsters, huh? Did you hear that? Hmm. And she's not listening. Huh? Did you say something? I said I'm gonna go get some information, so you wait right there. Oh, I'll come too. That's all right. Go ahead and take it. It's pretty old and it has some pages missing, but it's yours if you like. Thank you very much. Is that book any good? It's fascinating. You can read it as soon as I finish.
if we stop the main charge. Remember your training! Okay, they're all in! Close it up! Hold the gate! There's still more! Just left the capital and things are already getting crazy. That's it. I'm cursed, I know it. <gasps> the gate! Can I ever thank you? Oh, it's nothing, really. I'm not sure what I would have done if you hadn't cured me. Thanks. I'm just thankful that everyone's safe. Whoa. All worn out, huh? really is dangerous beyond the barriers with so many ferocious monsters around. This place could definitely use a barrier against a pack that big. Couldn't they install a barrier blastia here? No. Barriers are a precious resource. You're right. And with the current technology, we can't make any more. If only we could recover the secrets of the ancient Garayo civilization. They created the Blastia. Even if that were to happen, I can't see the Empire using the knowledge for the common good. You two there! I'd like to have a word with you. So why don't you let us through? I'll beat those monsters to a pulp with these fists of mine! How many times do I have to say it? These monsters are tougher than you think! You dare to doubt the power of the monster hunters? cheated us out of a job back there, and now we're gonna work off some steam! Hey, hold it! It's always the same with these guild idiots. 
great. We'll never get through as long as this keeps up. But Flynn is headed to Halor, and we're so close. Well, getting caught by the knights wouldn't be too fun. Let's find another way through. We made quite a scene, didn't we? I was so worried once those knights noticed us. I told you we couldn't stand out. You were the one who just jumped. I can't just look away when monsters are attacking someone right in front of me, right? <laughs> What's so funny? I'm sorry. That sounded just like the way Flynn described you, that's all. He often said that you could never turn a blind eye when someone near you was suffering. Well, next time you see him, you tell him that I said he's the same way. <laughs> I'll do that. to work for me. You'll be paid, of course. Watch your manners around the president. Well, what do you say? So, it's not bad manners to try and buy someone without even introducing yourself? Watch your mouth! You're just as charming as I expected. I'm Kaufman of the Merchants Guild Fortunes Market. We handle everything from trade to distribution. Guilds, huh? You see, I'm in quite a tight spot, and it's all thanks to these tremors. I'd rather not know, but was that the work of a monster? Yes, the Lord of the Plains. Lord of the Plains? He's the leader of that pack of monsters. The leader? Man, there's some amazing things out there. Do you know if there's another way we can cross the plains? We're in a hurry. Huh. <sighs> I'm afraid you'll just have to wait for the Lord of the Plains to leave. Huh. I guess there's no point getting worked up over it. But I can't afford to just sit and wait. I'm gonna get a second opinion. Ugh. You're with a guild that does product distribution, but you don't know any other routes? I could hire you and just charge through once the leader moves on, but uh, you don't seem interested. If it's bodyguards you want, why not hire the knights? Are you forgetting that we guild members have thrown away our rights as Imperial citizens? Once you leave the Empire behind, you can't expect them to help you a whole lot. So naturally, the Imperial Knights would never deign to escort the likes of us. Wow, you really stick to your principles. Without that level of determination, one could never hope to run a guild. Well, maybe you could use your determination to do something about that Lord of the Plains. Go to the Quoi Woods that lie to the west of here. If you pass through the forest, you'll come out on the far side of the plains. But the fact that you guys aren't going that way... ...must mean we have some surprise to look forward to. I like a boy with quick wits, but I like one that doesn't waste a potential investment even better. Thanks. I owe you one. Maybe I'll talk to you about that job if we meet again. Still. I... I'm not waiting around for the monsters to leave or anything. I'm just resting a little. Oh, I see. Well then, I guess I'll just have to take the other way around by myself. What? H how did you... 
Hey, wait for me! That woman who gave us directions, she said she was in a guild, right? That was Miss Kaufman of Fortune's Market. Man, giving up their rights as Imperial citizens and just living free. Yuri, are you interested in the guilds? Interested? Nah, I just never had much contact with them. Back in the capital, there weren't any gritty guild types who'd refuse the Knight's protection. We may meet lots of people in guilds before we're done with our trip. I hope they're a little less aggressive than that woman was. Still. Really? My swordmaster used to scold me terribly. Well, I have to admit I'd be surprised if you look too natural. I really don't like fighting. I don't like hurting people. How ladylike of you. But if I don't fight, I'll end up hurt myself, right? Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. I wish I could enjoy fighting like you do, Yuri. You think I enjoy this? Don't you? I mean, the way your eyes shine, that only happens when you're fighting. Uh oh, really? Well, wow, you're pretty observant. Yes, I like watching people.
the curse? What sort of curse is it supposed to be anyway? The voices of corpses buried beneath the trees creep up and lure us to our doom. Oh, brother. What's that? like this. Let's take a break. I I'm all right. Huh? What's this? <gasps> Estelle! That's bitter. You all right? Oh, my head feels a little... I'll be fine. What happened to me? You just fell over all of a sudden. Don't you remember? Perhaps it was the air that made me dizzy. Air? That's sort of like the fuel that powers the Blastia, right? I heard that even though we can't see it, it's scattered through the atmosphere. Yes, that's air. I read once that dense air can have negative effects on people. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's what started the rumor of the curse. <laughs> hey, you only just woke up. You should rest a bit more. But I can't! If we don't catch up with Flynn soon... What if you collapse again, and this time you're out for the whole night? You're right. I'm sorry. I suppose we'll never get full trying to eat these. It's delicious. Hold on a sec. I can make something simple. You can cook, Yuri? I'm not exactly a royal chef. I just have a few recipes I learned growing up. Aren't you worried at all that Flynn is in danger? Does it look that way? Well, yes. Honestly, I'm not worried about him. He's always managed to take care of himself. Actually, it's the guys who are after him I feel sorry for. What do you mean? Ever since we were kids, I've never been able to beat Flynn at anything. Swords, racing, whatever. After he'd won, He'd always have the nerve to say, You all right, Yuri? <laughs> that must be nice. I've never had anyone like that in my life. You can count yourself lucky. Well, dinner's ready. Thank you for the meal. Wasn't anything special. I thought it was very tasty. I can't.
can't imagine being able to cook anything myself. It's just like using a sword or magic. You've got to learn it by doing it. You just need to practice with a few recipes. You'll be cooking before you know it. Practice with recipes? Here, I'll show you how it's done. Watch. Cooking clears your mind, and it's great for regaining lost energy. Cooking has a lot of other effects as well. This is pretty much everything I know how to cook right now. So, in order to make a sandwich, you'll need bread and an egg. Which we just happen to have right here. After choosing the ingredients, it's time to cook. Delicious meal. You're so good at that. I'm not sure I'd be able to get that good at cooking. Well, it comes more naturally to some people than others. Just because you have a recipe doesn't mean it'll always turn out like you think. Really? So you can mess it up? usually taste your food while cooking, but some people don't. Tasting? You know, like when cooks taste the food they make? Well, you're a sheltered little princess who's lived her life in a castle. It's only normal. Sheltered little princess? I suppose so. it repeat well shall we be going really get us to the other side of the hold? If it doesn't, we'll just come back. But what if I get turned into a frog or a snake by the forest's curse? If that happens, I'll take care of you. You'll... take care of me? Of course I would. Don't worry. I had pet frogs and snakes when I was a kid. If you got turned into a frog or a snake, Yuri, I wouldn't have any idea what to feed you.
Shadow Blades Guild. We travel the globe in search of the toughest monsters. I'm Yuri. This is Estelle. And you've met Repeat already. Anyway, nice to meet you. What? Yuri, wait! My apologies. Huh? Hey, wait up! Where are you guys going? You guys are here to enter the woods, right? Well then, I'll... Actually, we've just finished coming through the woods and we're on our way to Halur. No way! You guys made it through the cursed woods? Did you guys run into any egg bears? Do you know what he's talking about, Yuri? No, nope. I don't think we've seen any. Man, I wonder if I should head back to town then. They definitely won't like it if I keep them waiting. All right. I'm not sure you two would make it on your own, but never fear. The star member of the Hunting Blades will be your escort. See that? I've even got my own Blastia! What? You guys both have one too? Uh, oh yeah? Whoa, how do you like this? It has information about monsters. Hmm? After a certain point, all the pages are blank. That's because I'm going to fill it up with piles of monsters after this. Hey, wait! Who said you could just ride in there? It might hurt your star member status if it got out that you broke your sword. Oh, that? I had to give myself some kind of handicap or else it wouldn't have been a fair fight. Hey, that's actually not too bad. Yo! Do you guys even know where you're going? Halora's to the north once you get out of the woods! Come on, guys! Wait for me! We can't seem to find our way through this forest at all. Oh! Could this be the curse? What should we do, Yuri? There really was a curse after all. Don't be stupid. Or, do you not have a good sense of direction? No, of course I do. I think. Then maybe it's my fault. What should we do? They say no medicine can cure a fool, but I wish something could cure a bad sense of direction. There should be. You guys haven't been to Halur before, right? So then you haven't heard about the tree barrier. Tree barrier? 
some blastia fuse to plant life, gain organic qualities, and evolve. The tree barrier of Halor is one prime example of this. I read that in a book. Well, thank you, Professor. So what's happened to this famous barrier? Doesn't look like it's doing much right now. Every year, just before the blossoms are in full bloom, the barrier weakens for a while. It's just that time of year right now, and the monsters took the opportunity to attack. Is that when the barrier went down? Yeah, the monsters were taken care of, but the tree is slowly starting to decay. Hey! Wh what is it? Sorry, I gotta run! Bye! Does that kid ever sit still? So I guess you'll be looking for Flynn now, huh, Stella? <sighs> Doesn't she know we need to keep a low profile? What happened to looking for Flynn? healing arts you have. How can we ever thank you? No, really. Think nothing of it. What a humble young lady. I wish the Imperial Knights could follow your example. Not a chance. The Knights refused to lift a finger to protect us from the monsters. Well, I guess the Empire couldn't care less what happens to us here. But that one night sure was different, wasn't he? Yes, that young man. If not for him, we would have all been lost. The barrier weakened earlier than usual this year, and we were attacked before the guild could come to protect us. There was a knight who happened to be passing through our town on a pilgrimage. He and his brigade drove off all the monsters. A knight on a pilgrimage? Was this knight named Flynn by any chance? Yes. His name was Flynn Shifo. Is he still in the city? No. He left the village afterwards in search of a mage who could fix the barrier. You know where he went? It looked like he was headed east. But beyond that, I couldn't tell you. I see. So we can wait here, and Flynn will come to us. Looks like we've caught up with him. Don't you feel better now? Yes. I won't be able to relax until I see him. I guess I feel better. I think I'll go have a look at this famous tree. Want to come with? Ah, yes. Yuri, you don't mind? You're okay not going after the Blastia Core Thief? I can spare enough time to look at a tree at least. from the guild are here either. I kept her waiting so long. She must have gotten mad and left. I wanted to show her Halur's flowers in full bloom. Then maybe... Carol, what's the matter? Where'd she go? Is she really gone? Carol? Let's give him some time alone. It's over. It's over. It's all over. It's really over. Everything. Everything is over. Just like Flynn! Yeah! The 
Even those kids are trying to fight. I hope the barrier is restored soon. Me too. Even though Daydenhold was struggling without a barrier, they'd have had issues even with one. Yes, barriers really do have a big impact on people's day-to-day -day lives. Well, they keep people safe from monsters just by being there. It's no surprise it changes things. I want to help heal Halur's tree as soon as possible so that everyone can feel safe again. should blossom any day now. Yeah, I wish I could see it in bloom. I know how you feel. There's something about the image of a tall tree vibrant with blossoms and protecting the city that's so... romantic. You know, I'm gonna stay here and help heal the injured. Hmm, if you're gonna heal something, maybe you could heal the barrier itself. What do you mean? When monsters come again... More people are going to get hurt. Those kids we just saw could be among them. That's true, but I have no idea how I could heal the barrier. What you need to heal is this tree. It wouldn't be in this condition just because some monsters attacked it. You think there's some other reason? I think there's gotta be. Over here. We're trying to figure out why the tree has withered like this. I don't know if you'll make much progress on that one. The Knight Flynn couldn't figure out the reason either. Oh, Carol! Carol, we need your help! What are you talking about? It seems these two are trying to figure out the reason the tree's withered so. Oh, is that all? What do you mean, is that all? I know the reason. It's why I was in the forest looking for the egg bear. Huh? What are you talking about? Look closely at the ground. Notice the strange color? That color is where the ground absorbed the blood of monsters who attacked the town. That blood has been poisoning Halur's tree. What? The monster blood? I had no idea. Carol, you really know your stuff, don't you? It was nothing. Is there anything we can do to get rid of the poison? I know a way, but... Well, no one believes me. Come on, try us. I think we'd be able to do it if we had a panacea bottle. Maybe we can get one in the general store. Let's go, Yuri. I can't wait until the tree's blossoms are in full bloom. They'll be fantastic. I bet there's a flood of petals big enough to just sweep you away. All those petals dancing in the breeze. It'd be like a dream. I wonder how they deal with all their houses getting buried in flowers every year. It's got to be a pain to clean up. You really take the fun out of things, Yuri. store. What can I get for you today? Do you have any panacea bottles? 
Unfortunately, we're sold out at the moment. But how can that be? But you know, if I had the right ingredients, I'd be able to fix them up for you. What would you need to make it? I'd need three ingredients. Egg bear claw, nia fruit, and Laluria petal. But why do you need a panacea bottle so badly? A kid came by the other day asking about the same exact thing. You want to heal Halura's tree. What's that? I've never heard of using a panacea bottle on a tree before. What sort of thing is the Nia fruit you mentioned? That would be the bitter fruit you said was so delicious back in the woods. So, what's an egg bear then? Sorry, I can't help you there. Monsters are beyond my expertise. If a member of the Hunting Blades were here, they might be able to tell you. They make their living hunting monsters. So that's why he was in the forest. What can you tell us about the Laluria petal? You know the tree in the middle of town, right? It's a petal from that tree. Normally, we use magic resin, but there isn't any around these parts at all. But the tree is all withered. I believe the mayor has some Laluria petals. You might try asking him. Gotcha. We'll come back when we've gotten the ingredient. Come on, Carol. We're going back to the Koi Woods. What do you mean? Remember? Prepare to die, Egg Bear! You mean you believe what I said about the Panacea Bottle? Are you lying? Well then, we'll have to go with what you told us. Yuri! Alright, I'll help you out just this once. I'm a very busy person, you know. It's settled then. The three of us will restore the barrier together. You're coming too, Estelle? Well, of course I am. What about waiting for Flynn? Wasn't it you who said if you're going to heal something, it should be the tree? We'll just have to fix the tree before he gets back. Estelle, what are you looking at? It's a map of the area around here. Oh, let me see. Hey, this is almost completely blank. You can't call this a map. Really? You should try a surveyor's guild like the World Cellar. Their maps are really amazing. All the top guild members have one. So then naturally you've got a copy, right, Carol? Let's see it. Uh, well, you see, once you get as good as I am, you don't need to use a map anymore. Oh, that's too bad. I really wanted to see it. danger. 
I think that makes sense. If Blastia weren't regulated, anyone could use dangerous magic. But they've gone way overboard. They have a monopoly. Uh, I don't know about that. So anyway, what's your story? How'd you get yours? I used to be in the Imperial Knights. This was a going away present. Repeat got his as a keepsake of his old owner. A going away present? Sounds more like you stole it to me. So what about you, Estelle? Uh, I got mine from... Uh... Look at her, she's a noble. They all have these. I knew you were a noble. Well, at least one of you has some class. Yeah, yeah. Let's go get that Nia fruit. I don't understand Repeat. He's a dog with claws and fangs, but he uses weapons? <clears throat> yeah, I guess dogs do usually fight with claws and fangs. Huh? But Repeat's a dog, isn't he? <clears throat> repeat is Repeat. What does that mean? <clears throat> Whatever he is, Repeat doesn't think of himself as a dog. That's why he uses weapons and items. But that's not to say that he thinks of himself as a human, either. I don't really understand, but he seems very proud. <clears throat> yep, so show him some respect. Hey, Yuri, are you translating what Repeat's saying? Nah, it's just your imagination. Together. As you're ready. 
are we gonna walk around the woods and look for an egg bear? No, we'll never find one that way. Yeah? What'll... Hand me a Nia fruit, would you? I'm gonna use it to lure... The egg bear has very un... Jeez, you smell horrible. Me? That smell isn't coming from me. Please tell us when you're going to do something like that. Oh no, repeat! Everyone keep a lookout! An egg bear could come out any time now! And they're famous for their terrible ferocity! So then, Captain Carroll, I'm assuming that you're going to lead the charge against this terribly ferocious monster? Of course! But I could use a hand... I'll help too. Oh, and repeat also. Well then, how about we have a bit of a walk around the forest? fruit be lying on the ground in the forest. I didn't see a Nia tree nearby. Oh, that'd be the monsters in the forest. It's how they mark their territory. Can we really just take it then? I suppose there's no way for us to ask permission. Yeah, I don't really speak monster. Carol, they don't teach that in your guild, do they? The hunting blades hunt monsters. We don't need to waste time making friends with them. That's a shame. leader. You're not supposed to hide right after saying things like that. The star always performs the finishing blow. Everybody knows that. No, I don't think so. to you, Captain Carol. Operation Stink Bomb was a smash... Hey, don't go giving my plan weird names. Stand up straight when you say stuff like that. Oh, man. All right, all right. 
Wait! Azure! No way! Ha! 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 Azure Red! Estelle, why don't you guard the perimeter? R right. Y you sure it's totally dead, right? <laughs> wow, Captain. If I didn't know you were just poofing around, I'd swear you were really scared. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? How's the nose repeat? Now all we need is the Laluria pedal, right? Let's go pay the mayor another visit. for me to pet you. Let's start over by getting to know each other a little better. <sighs> so then, my name is Estelis. You knew that already, right? Huh? Repeat? Introducing yourself to an invisible friend? Oh, I won't give up. Woods. 
turn yourself in like a good boy. You've got to be kidding me. Lou Blanc followed me all the way outside the barrier? Uh, what? Who followed you? Uh, just some guys from the Imperial Knights. <laughs> yeah, right. The Knights are chasing their own former member. Wait, seriously? I say, come out now, will you? Show yourself now and we'll spare you a pummeling. Shaking in your boots and mere rumors. And you call yourselves Knights of the Schwan Brigade. So, what are they after you for? Vandalism? Fraud? Smuggling? Robbery? Murder? Arson? Uh, it's really just for jailbreak. Anyway, let's bolt. through. These woods are cursed, remember? Would you? Who'd you hear that from? I mean, I do, but... Ah, so that's why you need a petal. The Leluria is one of the three flowers that blooms on Halur's tree. The petals are dried for half a year in the shade, and they're very valuable. This is my last petal, but if it'll restore the tree to its old self, then I don't mind giving it to you. Thank you. All right, now we can make a panacea bottle. Let's go to the general store. Ah, you're back. Have you gotten all the ingredients together? We've got everything. Egg bear claw, near fruit, and Leluria petal. <laughs> all right. Let's get this stuff made. Yes, please.
you go. One panacea bottle. Now we'll be able to cleanse the poison. Let's go, quickly. Whoa, whoa, settle down. You'll drop the bottle if you're not careful. Oh, I see. Well then, let's go. Prudently. made the antidote to cleanse the tree of poison? Carol, it's up to you. I'm no good at this sort of thing. Who, me? Okay, then. Here goes. Didn't Carol say there was someone he wanted to show the blossoms of Halor to? I think so. He was hoping we aren't too late. Restore the fallen barrier. Please. No way! Was the dosage too small? Or maybe this isn't the right way. We'll have to get another panacea bottle. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. That was the last of the Luluria petals. But... but we tried so hard. Relationship. You are friends, aren't you? He's just someone I grew up with, that's all. Uh. Aren't those the people from the castle? We can't let these people get caught up in this. Let's lay low for a while. Huh? 
What did I miss? Where are you guys going? Halor's flowers sure are beautiful. I feel like I'm dreaming. Yeah, they're even nicer than I thought they'd be. Yeah, this really makes it feel like our hard work was worth it. Halor shouldn't worry about monsters attacking, as long as the barrier stays like this. Halor's tree will keep everyone safe. Man, those guys are a pain in the neck. Wish we could wait here for Flynn to come back. Who's this Flynn person? He's an Imperial Knight that Estelle's got a crush on. What? I don't have a crush on him. You don't? Oh, I get it. You two are already a thing, then. No, it's not like that at all. Well, anyway, we best be getting away from the town. Yes, you're right. I wouldn't want to cause trouble for the villagers. Do you know where this Flynn guy went off to? Didn't they say he'd gone off to the east? Yes, they did. I'd like to get to Ospio somehow. Anyway, let's get out of here before the goon squad shows up. Please wait. You deserve a reward for restoring our tree. Please stop by at my house. Oh, please don't mind. I will be waiting at my house. Please come. Wait! A reward? What do you say? Well, I guess we can't ignore his offer and leave. I wasn't really sure what I did back there. I don't think I deserve anything. Let's just stop at the mayor's house. We can still decline his offer there. Were those the Red Eyes? So you got both the Imperial Knights and those guys after you? Yeah, I seem to be a big hit with all the weirdos. And what did you do to get so popular? Well, there's 21 years worth of stuff. Listing everything might take a while. On second thought, never mind. I don't want to hear it. at home. Thank you, but unfortunately we need to be leaving very soon. Are you leaving before that young knight is back? The well, situation's changed a bit. Did something come up? You could say that. If there's anything I can do to help, don't hesitate to ask. We appreciate the sentiment, but we can't ask you for your help. I see. Then it's not much, but I'd at least like you to take this. Me? I didn't do anything at all. But since your friend helped us out so much... Well then, I'd be happy to... No, we can't take that. Oh, um, yeah, I, I guess I can't take that. But then how will I ever repay you? Well, how about this? The next time we come into town, set us up with VIP Blossom viewing picnic seats. That's a great idea. I can't wait. All right, then. The next time you're here, I'll put my heart and soul into paying back what you've done for us. Oh, can I ask you one thing? Have you ever heard of a town called Ospio? Ospio? Ah, yes. I believe that was the name of the City of Shade. The City of Shade? From what I've heard, the town lies between tall mountains, and sunlight rarely reaches its gates. Every now and then, a few quiet folks in cloaks and hoods come to our town to get supplies. But they're quite creepy, to be honest. Our town doesn't deal with them much. Where is the town located? Towards the east, I think. I wish I could tell you the exact location. Flynn was headed east as well, wasn't he? Yeah, I suppose a city of scholars might have some link to blast you after all. Thanks. That's all I needed. for you, Mordio.